So recently I have spent one month in the Philippines and I'm telling you, it was an adventure. If you're planning to come to the country, if you want to see the full experience, this is the video for you. So from the big cities, Manila, Cebu, to the islands, nature, beaches, some of the places I stayed, it was absolutely unbelievable. So if you want to see a particular part, I will make sure to leave chapters in the description, so timestamps so you can skip through and so join me on one month in the Philippines. And so, welcome back to the Philippines 2022. Let's do it. But before we get into that, a quick word from Manscaped. Today's video is sponsored. This little tool here, you open the box, it's super nice and clean, playful, your balls will thank you. So the biggest thing is with their skin safe technology, it solves the huge problem of always cutting yourself. So with the technology that they have here, pretty much no matter what you do, it will allow you to have a nice trim. It has this light on the front to also, you know, see the a little bit more trickier areas in the performance package 4.0 it comes with this nice cream the bold deodorant and the bold toner also it comes with the so-called wheat whacker so for nose and ears and i can say just to have this especially also with the adapters you can pretty much shave all body parts that you want with it. You can charge it wirelessly, so because of that it's also completely waterproof. And so with my code Danny Travel, you can get 20% off plus free shipping worldwide and I think they throw two gifts on top. So I would say before you head into the world to tame the jungles of this planet, tame your own jungle and let's get into today's video. Philippines. It has been a while. Guys, right, so we're right now in Dubai over here, right next to the Museum of the Future. The scenery is about to change a little bit, but maybe not even too much. We're gonna be going to Manila, catching a flight right now. For everyone, it's, it's just me. <laughs> this is the incinerator with you. <laughs> I mean, I'm from Iraq, guys. So ah! <laughs> everyone looks. Who does Harry look like he is dressed right now? Dun, 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 William. Dun, dun. This is this is how you get into first class. They're laughing at me now, but we got Jim Bro over here, and we got Waterboy over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> I am finally made it to Manila, just hopping out of the hotel, gonna be staying in the Philippines for a few weeks, maybe for a month, we'll see how it will go. I'm super excited, so I'm right now staying in the BGC area, it's supposed to be like a nice modern area, I'm really excited to see what has changed, how does the city look right now. So just made it into a bit of a busier street here of the BGC, I have to say, freaking love it. Last night walked by here, didn't see too much. Absolutely amazing area. We'll show you around in a second. First, let's get some coffee. <laughs> Guys, let me introduce you to the vlog. Hello. Mr. Biceps, 
How should we call you? Mr. Colonizer. Oh no. I didn't come up with that name. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Harry over here and Ollie. They're doing like nice GoPro stuff. We'll link it all below, but you'll get to know them very Link soon. Fast. It's a GoPro, but it's also a baton. <laughs> oh no. It is time to take this series to the next level. Nature, beaches, amazing places. Believe me, we are just getting started with the Philippines travel series. Today we're flying through the Cebu airport to what I could, I could very reasonably say is the most beautiful island in the world. Let's go to Palawan. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Just wanted to say hello. I prefer Philippine airline over Cebu Pacific <laughs> any day. And so, let's head up. Alrighty, guys, super, super cool airplane. Let's hop into it. Hello, how are you? Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, from the. And so? <laughs> let's head out. Okay, guys. I'm gonna be flying out right now, I have to say. Definitely one of my favorite planes. So, Philippines Airlines prefer them much over Super Pacific, I mentioned in the previous video. Just looks clean, nice, classy. The seats are a little bit old, but still, like, very well maintained airplane. And it's nice and calm and cozy. I don't know. Some people don't like them. They say they're more shaky. I personally feel like I don't know. What's your thoughts, Aaron? I never got one, bro. Yeah. First time. All right. Actually, the um, from Coron, like El Nido. Mm -hmm. You can take like a plane with like eight seats or something. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. It's like proper oh. private jet. Yeah. I want to take a seaplane as well. I want to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> the prof, I think they have a toilet, so. I didn't realize you were going to. Oh. oh damn, look how blue the water bag there is. Sheesh. Coming out, proper little jet vibes here actually. Ooh, what a nice airport, seriously. Just absolutely nature everywhere. Look at this beautiful plane here. So they say this is one of the nicest tourist towns in all of Philippines. El Nido, Palawan. Without a doubt, one of the most beautiful places in the world. And today, I want to share with you my honest opinion, the both sides, the absolutely mind-blowing, but also parts of reality they might not show you. This is pretty much one of the biggest reasons why this place is so famous. How is the scenery? Beautiful, yeah, man. pretty sick, huh? Yeah, this boat definitely has seen better days. There we go. What do you say about that? Wow. I mean, uh, now that we got off the kayak not too long ago, I don't feel so good about it. <laughs> Let's see, maybe I'll take a thumbnail here. So they say this is one of the nicest tourist towns in all of the Philippines. Do you know what happened to that boat? Typhoon. Typhoon? During the typhoon? typhoon yeah. mm. But the owner is in Australia. Oh, so nobody takes care of it? Yeah. I Someone see. Absolutely beautiful scenic rides. That's what El Nido stands for me. Let's go in and huh? about a day pass. Yeah. yeah. Good. 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 Hello. Yeah. Have you seen this before? I've seen it online. It's incredible. Yeah. So I found a good gym. Uh, yes, we are. How are you? Uh, you offer day passes? Yeah. How much is one? It's 250 per day. 250 per day, okay. Do we have a blogging rate? 245 maybe? Yeah. No. No? I have a free yacht price. Hello, here. Super, super nice. What's the name? Las Cabanas? Uh, Las Cabanas, yes. Las Cabanas Beach, guys. Check it out. Okay, guys. So, made it to the Las Cabanas Beach and Actually, I didn't even know if I should bother coming because it's so close to the place where we stayed, the Frangipani. But actually, it's super, super nice. Absolutely beautiful beach. I mean, look at this. I have like some like little 
tree growing, got some nice beads, and there's a bit of an island tip. And all of the hotels, I have to say, this is probably the best uh, hotel area in El Nido, I would guess. Like the, we stayed not too far, but here's just a little bit busier. Super nice. Hey guys, I have to say, wow, didn't expect this. This is just absolutely amazing, just by the fact of the places that are right by the beach, the vibe is super nice and calm and definitely worth coming back to. So fairly peaceful water and this looks also really cool. So you can walk kind of like on this other island and usually Harry was just asking about it. There is a zipline. Maybe you see the little rope. So there is a zipline going to the other island. So theoretically you could zipline your way there. So here's a bit more simple accommodation, but being right by the beach. I mean, how amazing is that? And yeah, back there, a line of palm trees. So yeah. This is definitely, let's call it the heaven side <laughs> of um, El Nido. And I would say probably there's not even a point, honestly, to go to the El Nido town unless maybe in the evenings for a bar or something. This is like the proper, in my opinion, this is like El Nido town. Yeah, yeah, It's like yeah, the better yeah. part of it. Yeah, it's like the town is just uh, tourist markets and stuff. Yeah. It's very quiet today. In the I day. have not been here ever before. No. Yeah, I almost didn't go today. This is the best place I've been in El Nido, yeah. apart from maybe our, our beach is also nice. So, coming down the stairs here, I have to say, what a little twist to today's tour. I thought we would just go around a little bit of gloomy El Nido town, which I have known before. And uh, yeah, the conclusion is obviously like many tourist towns, they have been hit a little bit still. Uh, nice tourist town, I think in the evening it's also a little bit more alive. But honestly, wow, I am so like almost like uh, worried that I almost didn't come down to the... Um, what is the name? I mentioned it before in this video, this beach is absolutely beautiful. You look at it. Earlier today was a bit gloomy, but now it's clearing up later towards the end. I think I'm also gonna take you for the sunset around here, but well, join me on a little tour. I'm gonna see. I, I really didn't expect that this place is going to be so freaking nice and cozy. So let's step in right in. We're coming off of the beach. Here you already get a bit of an idea of the building, the pool area. Nice little pool. There's four rooms. I think there's eight rooms in total. So this kind of like pool access. This right there is our room, as you probably can tell. And this is the really the sickest room. I've actually just did a tour. I'll show you in a second. The really sick part is this over here so this is the view that we're looking at like i'm gonna take you around through the room itself in a second as well but you come out and you just have this absolutely insane view all over a bunch of different islands of so this big one there you see a boat passing through i mean imagine guys showering with this so it is breakfast time here at the Falangi Pani. Very, very excited for that. So to show you a little bit the breakfast area. Coming in here. Hello, how are you? And the kitchen looks very solid, so I'm excited for what they're gonna prepare. Like we're literally sitting on the beach here. Got the chairs and got the beach. Filipino breakfast? Yes, really? Uh, yeah, the chicken adobo. Yeah. Chicken adobo. Yes. Yeah. And I think the garlic rice. Garlic rice. And the two eggs. Can we have them? Scrambled? Sure, yeah, scrambled. And then garlic rice. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And um, in terms of fruit shape, yes. what can you mango. recommend? Mango. Mango? Yeah. Perfect. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Tell you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. So for today, I decided to stock up on the proteins in the morning. That's the amazing thing is they have so many different options like um, international breakfast, continental. This is Filipino, so we got some garlic rice, some chicken adobo, a little bit of scrambled eggs, some fairly lean, some meats, some... But the coffee, I have to say, it's not easy to find a good coffee in the Philippines. Usually it's a little bit weak. 
Best coffee I've had in the Philippines so far. Confirmed. And got a little nice mango shake for the micronutrients. We're gonna walk all the way down there. Actually, earlier in the lobby, I was getting some shots. There were some dogs in the back playing on the sandbar. So I guess the dogs just like walked all the way there. Yeah. Look at the fat white one. Oh, not even fat. Ah, oh, another one. And for the evening program, came out for a little walk along the beach. So during like really low tide, can like walk almost anywhere, see some stranded boats in the water. And yeah, I feel like you could walk all the way to that beach back there. There's a remote island next to it. I'm sure you could kayak theoretically. You know what I was thinking? Mm -hmm. We could even kayak. There's like some super sick beach behind the cliff. Could sure. kayak there. I'm down. Well, it would be a bit long, but we'd get a good tan. Yeah, that's the main goal. Oh, are you down? To get a tan? No, to like <laughs> kayak around the island. Let's do it. Yeah. That would be fun. You might want to film this just in case. Send this to my insurance company when I die. This is the uh, English method. You don't climb down, you slide down and hurt yourself severely. Oh, there it is. Okay, guys, so this back there is our house. It's like a huge boat. Usually it's underwater, now it's on land. So I got this huge long beach. Wow. And so there we are in the middle of the sand on one side got the beach got this huge hill and just surrounded from all sides by these little islands in the water also got the local fishermen boats so yeah super super cool just when a kind of like sandbar like that appears out of nowhere approaching and so back at the beautiful Fran Gipani for sunset right in time so let's see hello <sighs> Guys, the view is already sick during the day, but what we're gonna see now. Uh, hotel, dude. Will we ever get enough of that view? Crazy. This morning you wake up and this lovely lady in the back is showing us how to do it. Damn, look. Professional. Ali, that's gonna be you in a second. I don't think I look that majestic. Oh, you will. Wow. So, they have uh, pedal boards uh, pretty much like free of charge. That is a kayak. I asked them about the kayak. Look at that. We can straight up take that kayak to the beach back there. That almost sounds better. We're gonna be mostly kayaking right now. They only have a, like, they don't have the pedal board thing. So me and Ali are gonna head out. But first I do wanna try it out a little bit. Yeah. 
Ja. <lacht> So paddled out nicely into the sea. We decided to go for the kayak. Honestly, I feel like, I mean, this looks fairly challenging as well, I gotta say. But I feel like the kayak is a little bit more proper exercise. So, I mean, water is just absolutely crystal clear. I'm going for a ride. Let's kick off this, man. We have some Filipino traffic. <laughs> Seriously, the water is just crystal clear. It's insane. Sand feels so smooth and buttery, like seriously, almost like muddy a little bit. Here, I put the torch down, man. This has got a world to see territory. This is crazy, huh? Oh no, my torch! Yeah. Wow, guys, this is absolutely unbelievable. Can you see it? Can I see it? Like this is, let's put like no filter, no nothing over this right now. Wow, so truly there's absolutely nobody here. There's some type of little house, all who's going in it right now. Alrighty, looks like somebody's actually living here. Somebody had a nice little drink. Wow, so there's a stove. A little bit dusty, so I don't know the last time somebody was spending a night here. It's kind of would be, would be really, really cool actually to stay here, but I feel like it's not really being used right now because it's a little bit abandoned. Somebody had a little barbecue. Yeah, we almost can make a full video of this. Like a proper <laughs> island expedition. Just the island boy. Trying to make it. Alrighty. Any rowers out here? <laughs> Okay, and so approaching around the corner, some type of other island. Wow, look at this water. So, oh my goodness, what an arrival. I think this is the moment we're gonna get killed. Uh -huh. Seriously guys, you got freaking millions of fishes swimming through the water. And so guys, we are swimming here, as you can tell, so we have uh, some type of Mrs. Dream local boat. And I mean, this is insane. This is some like Maldives type of water, just with the exception that it is around like solid, huge mainland. I think we pedaled around a total maybe of half an hour to get here. I would have guessed it would be like one hour. Yeah. So it's actually a little bit faster than you would think. Could have dipped around the corner there, but I think, you know, what we're gonna find is pretty much the same type of beach on the other side. I'm super excited to go back and let the drone out flying. You have already seen it. That is always the perks of watching my videos, not making them, is that you see all the sick shots already. Is this a real chicken? That's not, that is a goddamn real chicken. Got chicks as well. Yes. Wow. It looks like so perfect. You know, not real. Let's approach slowly. Look at this. It's like, a, you know, playing. Look at this beautiful chicken. All right. The dog is judging your your form. Yeah, the dog is not very happy about me taking this. No. Nope. Ah. Leaving behind the big rock. <sighs> so it's gonna be around half an hour paddling. Both a bit exhausted. It's gonna be a good tan, gonna be a good workout. Let me get into it. Let's go. You feel the nice breeze, you're starting to roll, passing by palm trees, that is the vibe.
Alrighty, stopping by by the side of the road to potentially get some dinner. Let's see. Got some super nice. Hello, how are you? Yeah. Look at that. Is this like lechon? Yeah. Is this lechon? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. We have spicy garlic and original. Uh huh. Uh, for lechon, yeah. Yeah. And how much is for one whole chicken? Uh, three hundred, sir. Three hundred. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna check into our hotel, and then we're gonna have some of that. Let's go. I wanted to try the local lechon for a long time, so I'm quite excited about that. And maybe it's just the absolute starvation which is speaking out of me. I only had breakfast today so far. We are approaching sunset. And uh, yeah, really nice day actually. And so we are pulling up on the beach. Oh my goodness. How is that back there? That's ridiculous. See the tip? God damn! That's ridiculous. It's crazy. So we made it to the beach for today. Wow, this is probably one of the best beaches of all time. It's already sunset, so we don't see the blueness, but you just see the never-ending palm trees all the way back there. You'll see. That. All right. Tent number one. That's a big tent. Welcome. That's sick. Nice. Wow. Oh my god. You're spoiling us. What's your name? My name is Dario. Dario. Yeah. Dario, you're spoiling us. That's huge, man. We can host a whole tribe in here. This is bigger than a hotel room. Yeah. And so this will be home for tonight. Seriously, a little bit unbelievable. I've been riding all day long, so it's kind of like really hard to believe a little bit. It's been a long day and what a finish to it, but we still got the dinner here, so also super hungry. Like I'm woozy at this point, so let's grab that. Okay, so setting up a little feast here right by the beach. Seriously, I barely can talk. Like, you know this feeling when you don't eat all day, especially when so much excitement. This beach, guys, I'm gonna like Keeping a little bit, no, actually not a little bit. I'm gonna keep most of it for tomorrow. You just got a little glimpse. We'll get some later. Wow. So juicy, smoky. And like, this is like more lean meat. Ooh, let's go for it. <laughs> My God. Wow. Yeah. Done. That literally melts in your mouth. <laughs> so tender. Very fatty, but that's the best bit. It's like Ooh. a ketogenic uh, evening here. Got lots of proteins, lots of fats. And the best part is it's still a little bit warm. Yeah. So that's the scooter trick. Remember that one. Mm. There's something about having it on the beach, which is also just like epic. So epic. Any idea how we can open this up? I got the security guard to do it. Mm. <laughs> And so on this note, good morning from, uh, yeah, one of the nicest beaches in all of Asia, I would guess. guys what is up welcome back to today's video so you know when they said you're gonna be staying by the beach I expected a lot but maybe not exactly this so into this video I want to take you along on the one side on yeah definitely they say it's one of the nicest beaches in Asia and I've just had a glimpse a little bit in the morning and I can definitely see what they're talking about so I'm gonna show you the beach in a second as well you can tell me if you know a better beach in Asia I mean of course you know it's always like a little bit marketing but that's wow really that's very nice have the tent as you can see in the background Oh, 
Okay, it's a boy and a girl, as we're seeing from the back. Look at them, beautiful. Wow, guys, so playful. But actually, the reason why I came out here is to, I don't know, what would be the best way to explain to you, to describe to you where we are. As you see in the back, this is how it looks when we are coming out from the tents. We turn around and you see nothing but sand behind me. Obviously in the back, we're gonna be approaching the water in a second. But the thing is, this is probably one of the longest stretches of beach I've seen in the Philippines ever. And right now I see like maybe like 30 people. The beach you could walk from one end to the other probably would take an hour or so in the morning there was nobody because this is kind of like a spot that people do day trips from from the main town of El Nido and so wow seriously look at how blue it is the only way to make you understand this to get the bird out Dipping in nicely and as you see the water is crystal clear. Napkan Beach I have to say it's a super nice beach. It definitely would be without doubt in my top 20 maybe even top 10 beaches but just the fact of how calm it is how still fairly undiscovered it is it's definitely one of the best beaches I've ever been to even yeah I mean like there is maybe a few better ones but crystal clear waters and during the morning there's barely anybody here it's crazy actually. There you go. The campfire going. Luckily. Goats. And Harry. Harry, Harry. Oh, yes, Hello. Wow, look at that view. Okay, so as of for now, I would say absolutely driving into very, very much so less explored areas of Palawan. I think this is not a tourist town at all. Maybe there's some hotels around here, but yeah, I haven't seen a single tourist probably in, since we left the hotel in the morning. Look at these, <laughs> this goat family here. Oh yeah, looks pretty good. Native. Hello. <laughs> so I have ordered the native chicken adobo. Looks like quality. Mm, yeah. <laughs> this is dry. I don't like this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> cool. So, gonna try the chicken adobo here. I think I've had it before, like maybe at the um, breakfast play, um, like hotel breakfast. Oh, hot. <laughs> hot. All right. You're on top? Wait, wait, wait. Did I get... Sorry. Super hot. Good. The earlier version I spit out, but that's off camera. All right, Ali. The chili is looking at your face. All right, let's go ahead and uh, try Dan's chili. Not too spicy. Oh my god, <laughs> it's a slow burner. <laughs> nice and steamy. Okay, and so we made it back into El Nido, short on time. Perry is leaving in half an hour, let's see what we can do, but yeah. Oh, 
Okay guys, last minute, made it to the ferry. You know, I freaking love it. Always a little bit of excitement. Uh, oh, wait a minute. At first I thought this is gonna be our ferry, but it looks like this one it will be. Looks actually quite nice. The Montenegro liner. I've been to Montenegro. It looks actually fairly similar to be honest with you. Look at that beautiful backdrop. So, $60. There's a military ship. I would like to be on that one. That would be good. It's not too bad. This is better than this. Okay. Here we go. For one? Yes. Vela Terrace. Made it to the local. Way of transport is going to be around 10 minutes. Let's get to the hotel. In time for sunset, hopefully. Two seasons, have you seen? Not four seasons, but two seasons. There you seasons. go. Thank you. We finally made it to the place we're going to be calling home for a few days. So we're being hosted by the Vela Terraces. And actually on our way up, we have been driving up the hill, getting a nice view, sunsets coming up. So yeah, very excited for it. So what a warm welcome. Honestly, the place is quite a lot bigger than I thought. It's like a proper big house. So. As of right now, it is a fairly early morning in Koron and um, gonna be heading out to do what they say is one of the best tours in all of the Philippines and I'm excited. Never done it before, let's head out. We're getting picked up by yeah, a van. King. Yeah. Oh, you're king. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm king of the island. Oh, you're the boss. King then. tour guy. Don't mess with you then. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Let's go tour guy. Hello. have to get on to land by literally walking through other people's ships <laughs> so the man in the back is doing some barbecue they make you wear this life vest which we'll see if we can get out and overall it has been pretty smooth like 20 minute ride to get out here and um, I mean so far it's really nice mm, I don't know maybe I have to get the, the bird up a little bit to get a better impression you probably have already seen it but uh, yeah, what is really cool about it is obviously this absolutely clear water. First time wearing a life jacket in years. <laughs> Usually. So it looks like we're the first one this morning here. How do you like it, mommy? It's beautiful but so busy. So very, very busy. 
I like to plead the fifth. Everything that you say might be used against in the comment section court. I feel like Johnny Depp. <laughs> well, there was uh, fecal matter in this uh, lagoon. <laughs> well, spoiler alert, man wins. Uh, guys, so what can I say? The place is beautiful. I haven't gotten the drone out yet. I'm sure I'll get some amazing shots. But this is probably the busiest tourist spot I've ever been to in my life. Just because it's very small. And usually, the, I, I imagine it to be kind of like quite a bit larger. So it's only this one corner, a little lake. I mean, honestly, I'm going to be very honest with you. It's a nice place. I'm sure I'll get great drone shots. But I personally prefer to be on any random beach in the Philippines. The water is going to be just as clear. You're going to have the place to yourself. It's going to be calm and peaceful. Maybe there's going to be some locals, maybe some fishermen. But here, it's just like, you know, it's certain like everybody's out here to just take a photo. And uh, when you go to tourist destinations, that's what you expect and but honestly i like this part much uh, more with the boats looks very scenic so let's get the bird up okay guys so we're in the back right now of the first lagoon that we arrive i just took the bird out and you have seen it the place in terms of the aerial photography is absolutely mesmerizing like you have these lagoons, the blue shade, the boats passing by. And so in terms of drone shots, if that's kind of like what you're coming for, it's one of the nicest I've ever gotten. Top 10, I would say like that, top 10. Definitely, I personally feel like even on Napkan Beach, I probably enjoyed my um, shots more, but the tour is just starting. So let's see where we can go. So in terms of the visual, it's actually still really nice. Even standing back here, I prefer this like parking lot much over the lagoon the lagoon is just a, like a little lake with a lot of people even if it would be empty it would just be a lagoon this is kind of nice a little bit with the limestones they're like not too high but look very very aesthetically pleasing but another around an hour in we are sitting on the boat and as you can see outside is a bit rainy so good chance it's gonna clear up again but this is another snorkeling spot but with the weather conditions i think not too much idea to get in but i have to say i really enjoy just the drive on the boat you see coron island you see a lot of mountains so let's see what else where else we're gonna stop are you going in Hello. We're going in. So this guy is transporting ice at 30 degree heat. This man deserves a medal. Yeah, look at that. He's tripping. Right now going for a bit of a road trip through Corona Island and I'm driving there's 
nobody on the streets. Like right now, I don't know for how long I'll be talking here, but good chance. Nobody will drive by. I hope that will be actually the case. This must be the most peaceful place in the Philippines. So far, while I would say generally the reason why I like having road trips in the Philippines is because there's not much, not so much traffic. It's not that densely populated outside of the, let's say, major towns. So here, what do we got? We got some cows, we got a horse in the back, and we got this amazing road. The nature is actually quite a bit different. Instead of coconut trees, maybe there's a few here and there. It's kind of like bigger trees. You see these type of, and yeah, such a, such a peaceful drive. Car is coming. All right, one car in one minute. You got me on that one. Okay, and driving by the side of the road, that's when Philippines, let's say, strikes again. So I did this island trip and you were going to lakes and then, like, it wasn't a nice place, you know? But here we're just randomly driving around and we found some type of lake. I'm gonna look up on the phone right now exactly where you are, but like, this looks just absolutely like a screensaver. Let's see, where are we? So this is called... If you type in Marina del Sol Resort Yacht Club, there's a bunch of like yachts. It's pretty much in between the town. On the drone, you see a bunch of smaller islands and just seriously, absolutely such a beautiful view. And and not a single tourist soul around here. Driving through Corona, I have to say, what an epic road. Ah. Okay guys, hitting the streets, gonna be checking out Koron city right now for the first time and uh, yeah, so I think it's like a 10 minute walk into the main town and that is kind of like the nice thing, the place we're staying at is on the one side fairly calm, a little bit further on the hill, like I'm seeing the viewpoint from here, you probably saw it in the drone shots, at the same time it seems like we're only 10 minutes away, I need to get to the ATM, so obviously islands like that don't have too many, I saw three ATMs, the closest one is 10 minute walk inside of the city. Matamang Salamat Po. So, looks like this is a little bit one of the main streets. I'm sure you can hear it, you can feel it. Much, much busier, so I have like some street food on the side, got the tricycles passing by, kind of like a lot of colorful buildings. I like that. Usually tourist towns are more alive in the evening, but still fairly busy and Koron itself is a fairly big island so let's see where I can find the ATM. So heading to the port. Okay. Give you the payment already? 50 and a bit on top. There we go. Thank you. So hello. Looks like we made it. So we made it to the port here. Let's see. We are on a small island. Some people say it's one of the most beautiful islands in the world and it was nice. It was a good time. And actually there was planes going out of here. But you know, 
I checked a little bit, could fly for two hours, sit in the airplane, go through the airport security, everything the usual. Or take a boat for 15 hours. It is supposed to be a passenger boat, so I'm ex Alrighty, so the man is making sure the documents are here. Let's see. There you go, thank you. So as you can tell, people are boarding the ship. I think it will be interesting. So something's about to go down any moment. It's gonna be busy. Alrighty, it looks like for whatever reason, the girls to the right. Boys to the left, excuse me. Oppa. Oh. Tourists, go yes. upstairs. Then. Upstairs, thank you. Okay, so we finally found our room. I'll show you in a second, but first, let me just take the time to tour you around a little bit. This boat is very, very different. Than I thought it would be. What is going on here, guys? This is a bit too much for me right now. We just ran randomly into a huge food court. There is a there is gonna be a concert tonight. Are you also gonna be singing tonight? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Great. You, what about you? You do the DJ? Wow, guys. I didn't expect there's gonna be a big event tonight. Hi, Aubrey. You always sing on the ship? Do you always sing on the ship? Yes, yeah, always. Nice. Every night. Every night. Every night. Yes. All right, so these guys are singing every night on the ship. Tia is gonna be going first. What was her name? Joy. Joy? Yeah. Tia and Joy. What type of situation do we got ourselves in? I'll be back with my orange juice to enjoy this occasion. Alrighty, first let's go to the deck and see what is going on there. The night was fairly comfortable like I barely felt like I'm on a ship it just felt like the air conditioner is kind of on so barely any movement so no seasickness like the sleeping I had the headphones I had a sleeping mask so it worked out not not too bad woke up once to go to the toilet and then if the headphones fall off you hear like a very aggressive <laughs> snore like a proper uncle snore you know but um, yeah, seriously, like this boat is a proper experience. So just to turn around a little bit to show you what we're looking at here. So we're here out in the open ocean here. We're moving. And I think here we got the, the staff. Hello. And I think we are not too far at this point from Manila. I really would have wished that um, would have left before sunset because that could have seen Coron. We'll see how Manila is going to be looking. I'm going to make sure to come up again during uh, when we're going to be approaching. But also, wow, and there's like little little local boats swimming by here. And so there we are. Just got out of the ship as you see the people are coming down and 
I guess this should give you right now a little bit the dimension of this huge beast. So this is the tip of the ship. This is the back. Gotta live dangerously. Mm -hmm. city of Cebu. So I've been here once before, but never to this area. I am standing right now on historical grounds, somewhat ancient, almost ancient grounds. This place is, uh, I believe, hundreds of years old. Sure. Got a cat that settled down over here. And so good morning and welcome from my fort or actually this place has been around for quite a while i am in fort san pedro this place i believe is over 500 years old back in the day or really back in the day the spanish arrived here in cebu and built this fort as kind of like their uh, let's say beginnings of their expeditions here and um it's very interesting history. Cebu, one of the largest cities in the Philippines. I've been here before once, but never in this area. Just this morning, arrived from, uh, no, yesterday actually, from Manila. This morning, walked out for a little bit of a walk, and this is the Old Town area. So, yeah, today, let me take you along on a bit of a impression of Cebu. Maybe tonight, gonna be heading out uh, further down to the beaches. Not quite sure yet. But, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit the start-off point for the times in the Philippines but honestly I just absolutely love it like look how well they maintained it keep it very nice we got the cannons here and the most amazing thing is all of that is I would say original that would be nice actually to go up there but I think it's closed right now so absolutely beautiful entrance over there but at the same time we're also in one of the oldest streets in all of the Philippines so let me take you along on the way back to the hotel let's actually see what else can we find here Alrighty, guys check it out there's a bit of history so this guy legaspi founded the first spanish settlement in cebu 1565 they're almost 500 years ago so this is kind of like how they rolled up here planting of a cross by ferdinand in cebu 1521 yeah. over 500 years ago Not fascinating to think that it's over 500 years ago at this point. Hey okay guys, so this is a little bit the vibe outside of the fort. We got markets and I think this is one of the oldest areas in definitely all of Cebu, maybe also. All of the Philippines but it's actually quite nice I don't know if it's some type of holiday today but the church in the back is pretty busy right now so I'm on my way back to the hotel I'm gonna meet the boys and we're gonna plan out a little bit the day what we're gonna do in Cebu most likely gonna catch a bus towards sunset hopefully so we're hitting the streets here is some type of market it looks like a flower market Ali's going in. Nice. So Ali came all the way from the UK, originally from Iraq, as you like to say. <laughs> he bought a bunch of flowers and now he's looking for love. Let's go. <laughs> all right. So by the end of the day, we'll find Ali a wife. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go back there. It looks pretty cool with the bridge. Oh, nice. So definitely, you know, guys, this is the oldest area of Cebu. And there's like a nice modern area with a nice mall. I've been there before. So today we're really going to see a little bit how the life is here. You know, we're close to the water right now, actually also to the port where we can take the ferries to go to the islands and things like that. I think it's always kind of interesting to see like the local industry especially if it's not like just like some sleepy tourist market but actually like super alive here mm. you know like 
actual industry. I think they're selling it probably wholesale here. Maybe also just regular customers coming, but yeah. Check it out. Oi, Ali, I think they want the rose. <laughs> Roses for the ladies. Okay. Some, uh, roses. There you go. Is that yeah. from Iraq? All no, no, from Iraq. this is uh, from uh, one minute down the road. Are you vlogging? Yeah, yeah, we are. We are vlogging right now. And uh, uh, there you go. Okay, we'll subscribe to this. Alright, so that'll be $5 each. <laughs> Ali, she's already subscribed. Are oh, you already a subscriber? I think so. I'm not sure, but uh, it seems familiar. For awesome, okay. Well, there you I'll go. Right. Turn on the notifications. <laughs> awesome, nice to meet you, ladies. Happy day. More pictures? Sure. You cross my eyes. You go. So Nice. You will see by my face so, uh, that I was uh, lying uh, high <laughs> and I don't care. Is that yes? 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 <laughs> Having an absolute blast. No, seriously, the vibe on the market. Packed up, ready in the bus attire. So, the bus station should be somewhere here around the corner. Just a few hours in Cebu City. Personally, I really want to have some beaches right now. And the uh, easy way to get around the island, at least they say, is the bus. So, the big bus should be ours. Alrighty, so hopping into the bus. Pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. If you get this look, if you get this scenery, guys, how can you not fall in love with this? Good morning from Moal Voile in the Philippines. So right now, a bit of an early start hitting the beach. Got some snorkeling gear from the hotel and there's supposed to be one famous spot. A spot with a lot of fish. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. So there's this place called the Sardine Run. We're walking right now along the beach. And uh, yeah, the plan is actually just to like go in, kind of like self-guided self guys. a little bit. You know where the Sardine Run is? Yeah. Is over there? Yeah. All right. Hi. We found these guys. Hello. And another one. And another one. Look at these guys. Have you seen the sardines? Do you know where I can find the sardines, sir? We're looking for the finest fish. So I just came back from the so-called sardine run. So it's really cool. There's basically millions of fishes swimming in the water. You get out there a little bit and then all of a sudden it gets like really, really deep. You can swing your feet a little bit, but like, I don't know, maybe 20 meters, 30 meters. At some point you don't see the ground anymore. And um, we didn't see the fish right away, the sardines. We had to swim a little bit, but then all of a sudden they just appear. It's like, I would definitely say it's probably a few hundred, a couple thousand, maybe even millions. It's hard to guess. Obviously some are smaller, some are bigger. Good morning, welcome to today's Philippines adventure. I think um, the place we're going to be going to is going to be interesting. It's going to be the highest point on the whole island of Cebu. You know, when I hear there's a mountain, I have to climb it. Be it metaphorically in life or be it literally. So we're starting off the morning at the beautiful blue beach. Just had a little bit of breakfast over there. We got the nice Filipino boats in the back and we got the boys in the back there so me and Ollie we're gonna go for a nice little hike gonna get the cardio in but honestly I have no idea how we're gonna get there what we're gonna find on the way it's definitely a bit remote so we're truly gonna be going inside of the villages here in the Philippines and um, gonna try to get there 
Are we ready? Morgan. Let's hit the road. Uh, so Harry over here, he's gonna, you're gonna try to go to the Kawasan Falls? Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. We'll see. So personally, I've been there before and also I feel like like just to get a view would be kind of nice so well we got another like around an hour drive ahead so oh yeah let's do it okay so on our way to the highest point of Cebu I checked the weather report and it said it's supposed to get a bit cloudy in around an hour so I thought hey let's hit the beach we're driving along the coast okay guys so took it for a little bit of a flight really beautiful here and you know that is the thing about philippines you just go to like a super random little enclave road you find some covid facility in paradise so you know in case you get covid this is where you have to go <laughs> and uh, the water is just absolutely insane i mean again like i think this is some type of like local resort there's like a few kids a few families but like literally we're off road and the water is just crystal clear this is kind of like the view we're looking at i mean this is probably one of the clearest waters i've been to crazy huh i've been to fifi that's pretty nice and clear it's not like Miami, this though but not like this man this is what are we like a meter in yeah i've been to fifi like a month ago it's not that clear man yeah no nah. we're a meter in i can still see my toes it's crazy it's insane Ooh, so this is pretty much any random beach in Cebu and actually most of Philippines. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. okay. Ali's gonna help the man. Yeah, the big one is hungry, he's yelling for food. <laughs> Excited. Can I get Mimi? Oh, I do? Alright. Ali's gonna feed the, feed the pig. This much? Okay. There you go. Parked our scooters over there. Turn down. Are you? Uh, the sure. right and, uh, the Very cold. Yeah. Here you go. Some 100 pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> Climbing. I'm going local style with them flippers. So guys, there we are. The top of Cebu Island. This was the whole journey. Honestly, it is fairly amazing. Like you barely can kind of like uh, identify anything that is on the bottom. It's just so, so small. You see like huge towns that just look like sand on the beach. But at the same time, that is what we are looking at here. So this is actually the official viewpoint. We decided to go up the one next right, right to it.
Now I'm officially at the highest point of Cebu. Funny enough, it's not too windy and all the time this huge cloud was approaching, but somehow by a miracle, I think it's causing mayhem somewhere back there. It's a little bit hard to see, but you know, guys, as much as this is a bit of a touristy spot and I would have preferred maybe just to find the scenery like that randomly, Every time I'm in a spot like that, just the love for aerial videography, for getting the bird out, for getting some nice, first of all, memories, but second of all, also just like, yeah, all these different tools that I have, like right now, whatever, filming with a GoPro, flying the bird, just being able to see things from a bit of a different angle. So first, enjoy. And so back there, that is actually kind of like the main viewpoint where all the people are. And absolutely got a world to see style. We just climbed some different mountain. Alrighty guys, such a nice village here in the mountains. And we heard some music. Hello. Hi. Bro, let's follow the music, shall we? All right. So we got some cocks here. Hello. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Thankfully. Hello. There's like a private party little going on. Should we go say hi? Yeah. Hello, how are you? Is it somebody's birthday? Yes. Whose birthday is it? Our aunt? Can we can we come say hi to your aunt? What do you think? Yeah? Alright. Let's go say hi to aunt. Yeah, okay. We're coming. Yeah? Hello. Let's go kiss some babies. <laughs> and of course, because we're a gentleman, we have to clean up a little bit before we go to agree to auntie. Oh, yes. So yes, get the hair, get the hair all nice. <laughs> How are we looking? Whew. I'm nervous. All right. I think we're going to be taken. All right. We're going in. Let's go. Whew. So, looks like somebody's birthday party is going on. Let's see. Okay, so there is also karaoke going on. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you guys. Baby. Okay, I will I will sing now, okay? All right. Um, hello, nice to meet everybody. So this is uh, Mr. Ali to the left. Uh, my name is Danny. Thank you very much for the great hospitality. Wow, this microphone is working amazing. So uh, happy birthday to the auntie. It's an honor. Thank you for the nice answer. And I will give over the microphone to... Happy birthday to the most beautiful woman in town. Happy birthday! So Ali came in with a performance. Beautiful. Wow. You have another song for me? Alrighty, so everybody go ahead and subscribe to Go With Ali. Eric Joggert, and uh, you can also check out the Gotta Roll to see guys. Make or not? I'm Dora, and I'm Make My Son. Edwin Moran, it was a pleasure, it was an honor. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Your Take care. Name is Danny. And so who could have imagined that this is how the night would go no, down? Seriously. No, for real. I think that was the first time like that. And it just, especially like uh, the aunt and all the other, uh, especially the ladies that just been so nice, so warm. 
So after spending a little bit more time in Manila, I'm thinking to make a full video about the time in Manila. I've really done a lot. So if you would like to see a video of the whole experience, maybe a top 10 Manila, let me know down in the description. And so we're headed to the airport right now. Ooh, missed the place already. you have watched all the way until the end drop in the comments I too got a world to see got a world to see stands for well not only seeing more of the world but seeing more of what is out there more of what is possible building more freedom living life on your own terms and that is what got a world to see is all about I'm telling you the time in the Philippines I think it was my third or maybe even fourth a visit and I like to come back every time even if I visit a place for the second time it always feels a bit different. Philippines is a country that really helps you to be present. The people are very approachable, the nature is extremely immersive in many parts it's still untouched and undiscovered. Well, while probably that's not exactly true definitely there is places like that but even if you're more in a tourist town if you just take the scooter if you ride out right now i'm probably gonna put this over the drone shots guys this is just absolutely me letting flow a little bit the emotions i really wanted to put together this video for you whenever i stay in a country for a month it's always a bit like a yeah, like a separate life and i hope you will be able to do that for yourself in the future just go out there live a little bit somewhere else this for me didn't happen overnight if you have been around you know that i've been making videos for around five years full time maybe like two three years and uh, yeah got a world to see became at this point a proper business but what it is still much more it's a, it's a feeling and it's a idea of picking up a camera a couple of years ago documenting this story and yeah then being able to live around the world that has been division and we're just getting started time for a good world to see stage two and you're soon gonna find out what that is but until then philippines you have been amazing and until next time
Around six years ago, I realized that there is so much more beyond the borders of what you're familiar of. That a world to see was born, and it is all about living and traveling through different countries, all under the premise of finding more. More opportunity, more adventure, more freedom. <laughs>